So normally when I build something for my kids, they really enjoy it. Something tells me that this build they're not going to enjoy as much, especially my little ones. I built them a timeout hourglass chair. Really simple project, only takes a couple of tools. Stick around, I'll show you how I made it. For today's project, I'm using a laminated panel and some one and an eighth inch dowel I picked up from Home Depot. I started by laying out two 11 inch circles with my compass and then cutting those out with a jigsaw. Now take your time and cut as close to the line as possible, but it's really not a big deal if you get a little bit off with projects like this. It's really easy to hand sand out any imperfections pretty quickly. So this is the top and the bottom of the stool. The next thing I need to do is decide how much distance there's going to be between the two pieces and to cut my dowel lengths. Now to do that I need to know how tall the hourglass is going to be so I'm going to make that first. With a coke bottle there's a really nice rim around the top that you can follow with a pair of scissors and it gets it really flat. The next step is to connect the two and I'm going to do that with a piece of 2x4. I started by drilling a really small hole all the way through and then used a Fostner bit to drill two holes from each end, not quite going all the way, penetrating all the way through the material. And then use it a 3 8 bit to drill out a hole in the center and this will restrict the flow of sand. Now once that was all done, I drew a circle around that whole section that I just did and I'm using my jigsaw. I'm going to take my time with this because in thicker material it's really easy to get the, the blade to flare out so you end up with uneven cuts. Just take your time and if you do get a little flare out it's not really a big deal. Again, small project, easy to clean up with some hand sandpaper. Now the only thing I have left to do for the hourglass is cut out two pieces that will fit inside the coke bottles. And to do that I'm using some scrap plywood, this is half inch plywood. It ended up needed to be 4 and 3 16 inch circles. So again I cut those out with the jigsaw, cleaned them up with hand sandpaper and just made sure that they fit really nice and snug. Now I'm going to put those pieces on the top and the bottom of the stool and I'm going to center them out by just measuring from different areas making sure that measurement's all the same. Now because these weren't perfect circles I drew a line around it and then put like a little indication mark where to put it back if that makes sense. And I'm going to glue that in place with 2P10 CA gel and I'm going to use a little activator to make this go even faster. Now for those of you who don't know 2P10 is like a super glue and it's a really high quality one. So I did that on both the top and the bottom section and then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to use the, the super glue to glue the two pieces of coke bottle to my little center flange or whatever you want to call it. Just made sure to put quite a bit of gel in there so it would fill up any gaps so sand doesn't come out. And once that had dried I set the top in place and then I'll, I'm able to measure the distance between the two pieces to get the dowel lengths that I need. So the dowels needed to be 10 inches long and probably the easiest way to cut dowels without a chop saw is just use a piece of 2x4 that's square on one end and run a hand saw up against that and cut through the piece. That makes a really nice square edge and it makes it really quick. You don't have to worry about it. So now the next step is just to start putting this thing all together and to do that I'm using again 2P10CA gel. You could use silicone as well uh, but the, the CA gel is really fast. Now with the three pieces of dowel cut, I'm not getting real particular about it. I just kind of eyeballed where I wanted them to go. Once it looked good, I drawed a little hole to indicate that position. And then again used uh, super glue to fasten everything down in place. Now I, once I had everything glued in place, I needed to add the sand. I'm just using some play sand I picked up from Home Depot as well. And I kind of just dumped it in and counted how long it went to or how long it took to sift through and it was about a minute minute and a half and that was fine this one's going to be for my one and a half year old so it doesn't need to be very long now if you wanted something to run a little longer that you need to make the hourglass bigger to hold more sand and once the sand was in again i just added some uh, super glue to the places that needed to be glued and then i came back and added screws from the top going into the dowel in both the top and the bottom of it and this is going to hold everything together
Now once everything was put together, just a final hand sanding. Now you could paint this or do anything you wanted to with it. For me, I kind of like the wood look. It's simple, it's easy, and I'm not going to worry too much if it gets beat up. This was a really fun project. I built a larger one for my three-year-old and uh, they've already started using them. Unfortunately, they kind of enjoy using them. That is not exactly the way I plan things. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll talk to you soon.